people usually have conversation with others with some context in mind for example we may ask first question and then based on the answer we get we may ask a follow up question or when we have in a conversation we might use uh, he or she or it but based on our conversation the other person might know what exactly we are referring when we say he or she or it but does the ai models recognize that conversation for example here we are asking the llm open ai list all the movies directed by quentin torrentino and it can give some answer and then immediately we are asking the second question how old is he we humans can intuitively say when we refer he we are referring to quentin torrentino but does the ai models understand this uh, automatically let's find out let's run this example here and see what kind of answer we will we will get so as you see for the first question list all the movies directed by torrentino it gave the reply by listing all the movies he directed and then for the second question when we ask how old is he it is replying i am sorry but i would need more information to answer that question because it doesn't understand what is he we are referring to in this particular context so for having a conversational style interaction with the llm models we may need to provide more context so that it can understand what we are talking about in the case of a lang chain for j there is a feature called chat memory that will allow us to have this style of conversation uh, with a llm model let's see how we can implement conversational style interactions with the open ai Langchain4j provides support for having a conversational style interactions with the LLMs by using the concepts called chat memory and conversational chain. So currently here we are directly asking the chat language model uh, a question and then we are getting the answer. So there is no chat memory involved by default. Let us see how we can use chat memory and then ask a conversational style interactions. Okay. So here let us create a conversational chain. and conversational chain has a builder pattern and let us see how we can create an instance so here we can hook up this chat language model which we want to use so here we have open ai uh, chat model and then we can pr provide what is the chat memory that we want to use so right now we don't have any instance so let us create one so i am creating a chat memory and if you take a look at what are the available implementations we have here it shows there are two out of the box implementations provided by the langchain for j so one is messages window chat memory another one is token window chat memory so let us use messages chat window uh, chat memory so here messages window chat memory dot with max messages of let's say i am going to use 20 so it is going to remember the last 20 messages and then uh, it can understand the context and based on the context it can try to provide a uh, accurate answer so here i am going to plug this chat memory into this so now we have conversational chain instance and we can ask chain dot execute and the same question we can ask and it's going to give a reply okay and let us um, just copy this and here we are going to use chain dot execute instead of model dot generate and we are going to print let us comment this out okay so what we did instead of directly asking the chat language model we are creating an instance of a uh, conversational chain and then we are uh, using message uh, window chat memory with a uh, max messages of 20 and then we are creating this instance now we are asking the chain the questions so now let us see earlier when we asked how old is he it said i cannot answer this i need more context now let us see what uh, it is going to reply So for the first question, it uh, just like earlier, it gave all the uh, movies directed by Tarantino. And then for the second question, uh, Quentin Tarantino was born on March 27, 1963. As of today, he is 58 years old. But actually, 
he is 60 years old as of uh, March 2024. But because the OpenAI model that we are using is trained uh, with the data till 2021, it is saying he is 58 years old. But let us modify our uh, question and see. As of, let's say we are going to provide local date dot now. Okay. So we are giving the date um, as of today and then ask the question. So it gave the list of all the movies and as of March 14, uh, 2024, Tarantino will be 60 years old. So we can uh, modify our prompt to get the results based on the current date like this. So uh, this is how we can have a conversation uh, style interactions with the large language models. Here we are asking the LLM how old is he as of some dynamic placeholder value. So instead of we creating a prompt with dynamic values by using string concatenation, we can use prompt templates. Let us see how we can use a prompt template and then ask the same second question. So we can create a prompt using prompt template dot from. So here we can say this. So instead of giving the actual value, we can use a placeholder with this notation of double curly braces. So here we can specify current date. Okay. So this is our prompt template. This is the prompt template. But here we have some placeholders value which we need to provide values for. What we can do? We can uh, call the apply and provide the values as a map and here we have current date and its value would be local date dot now okay so with this we can create a prompt okay now what we can do, we can ask instead of directly asking this question using a string, we can call prompt.text. Okay. Let us comment these two and run this example. So as of March 14, 2024, Tarantino will be 61 years old. Fine. And one more uh, feature, for example, this date, current time, they are kind of a very usual placeholder. So uh, if we take a look at the Java doc of um, prompt template, here we can see there are some uh, special variables that are supported out of the box. For example, current date, current time, current date time. So these values will be automatically filled with local date now, local time now, local date time now. With these values automatically so we don't have to actually uh, provide the values for this placeholder because it is already uh, taken care by langchain for the framework itself dot apply and map dot off so there are no placeholder values that we need to pass let us run this and see so we are getting the answer. So this way we can leverage uh, prompt templates. There are much more features of prompt templates, but for now, uh, this is uh, one use case where we can prepare dynamic uh, prompts using some placeholder values and then we can replace with them. Okay. So this is how you can have uh, a conversation with LLMs using conversational style interactions using chart memory and conversational style. And even uh, better, if you take a look at this conversational style, uh, conversational chain uh, Java doc, 
we can see a chain for conversing with a specified chart language model while maintaining a memory of the conversation and includes a default chart memory with 10 messages which can be overridden. We have overridden with 20 messages and the important thing is it is recommended to use AI services instead as it is more powerful. So there is a uh, even a better uh, feature like AI services instead of using conversational a chain. So in the next video, we are going to see how we can implement the same uh, chart uh, interactions with the LLM using AI services. So in the next video, we are going to explore more features about uh, Langchain for j AI services. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.